Hi everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy. I'm here at CloseOutExplosion.com. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'd like to discuss with you how to easily start selling to international markets. If you feel that you've either saturated your local market or you just feel there's an opportunity to sell in an international market, then you might enjoy this video. So, step number one. You have to make sure that you have products that are of interest to another market. And how do you do that? Well, you look at that market and you see what are they looking for? What are they, what are, what is in demand? How do you do that? For one thing you could do, you could go to Facebook groups. Let's say you're trying to sell to Guyana. So you join Facebook groups that are mostly, you know, from members from people who are living in Guyana and see what products you're looking for. If you want to sell to Nigeria, you could join a Nigerian Facebook group and then see what products they're asking for. What are they looking for? What are they trying to buy? If they ask questions where they can get the best deal on office dresses, you know there's the demand for office dresses. If you see that they're asking questions on where to get the best deal for office suits, then you know that they're looking for office suits. Next thing is you need to see realistically how much you could sell your products for in that marketplace. So what you want to do is you want to go look at the websites of stores in those marketplaces and see how much you're selling the products for. To make it easy, let's stick to office dresses. So if you're selling, let's say, brand name office dresses, you want to go online, find stores in the, those countries, whether it's Guyana, Nigeria, Zambia, Kenya, wherever it might be, and see how much you're selling those dresses for. And then that'll give you an idea how much you need to sell them for at a wholesale rate so they can still make money when they sell them at their retail rate. Next thing you need to do is you have to, for, in order to calculate the actual costs of how much it'll cost your customers to bring over to import those products, or how much it'll cost for you to export the products, you need to see how much shipping companies charge to ship to those countries. If you are shipping to the Caribbean, you're shipping to Africa, there are many freight forwarding companies. I know for the Caribbean, I mostly use tropical shipping, but there are many companies that you can use as well. If you're shipping to Africa, there are companies such as Brady Cargo, Corporate Messengers, Express Air Freight, you could use Schenker. Schenker sh ships as well also to the Caribbean, to South America, to Europe. So they're freight forward companies. They'll aggregate shipments and they'll generally charge less than if you would be shipping the same order with a post office, with UPS, DHL, FedEx, and so on. Next thing is now you have to find how to actually reach the customers in those countries. So how do you do that? Well, you could use the internet. You could advertise through Facebook, you can advertise with Google AdWords. Of course, you want to make your own website. I recommend that. If you don't want to make your own website, you could use your Facebook page and list the products on your Facebook page, create a, a group and advertise that group, advertise the page. You can also write articles. And then once you publish those articles online, the idea is that someone in those countries will find the article and then they'll make their way to your website. If you are going to use article marketing, make sure you use keywords that will catch the attention of the customers that you're looking to sell to. And you also want to use keywords that, that will, how should I say this, that are phrases that are being searched for by customers in those countries. So if you're trying to sell brand name dresses to boutiques in Nigeria, you might write an article on how to import dresses from the United States to Nigeria. That's assuming that your wholesale business is in the United States. If you're selling handbags to boutiques in Guyana, you might write an article, how boutiques in Guyana can buy handbags in the United States. You want to try to, you know, tailor the article to the, to the search, right, to the, to the need of the customer. Now, once you've done that, you can also, if you've already done articles, you can also create YouTube videos, like the video you're watching, make sure that the information and the title of the video is aimed very clearly to your customer, right? Because what you don't want to do is, you don't want to create a video, let's say, on how to sell brand name dresses, you're not very clear who you're selling to, how you're selling, and then people call you up and they say, hey, I want to buy an Art and Richards dress size 12 color red, for myself and you're like oh but you do wholesale and the next phone call you get is maybe someone from the country that you're selling to but they also want to buy just a dress for themselves so you want to make sure that you're very clear in your video both with the title of the video and the and the content of the video of who you're looking to market to all right i hope you enjoyed this video my website is closeoutexplosion.com my cell phone whatsapp number is 
913-6093. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day.